GCSE biology command words, evaluate. So evaluate, so students should use the information supplied as well as their knowledge and understanding to consider evidence for and against when making a judgment. Now, from my experience as an experienced biology teacher, this is usually for questions around about a four, five or six mark question. So they're very important. They, um, they're quite difficult sometimes, um, but if you follow some simple rules, then you should be able to do it. Let's look at some examples. Usually they will give you information supplied. So in this case, this is about stem cells and this is about embryonic and adult uh, stem cells. And then it says evaluate the use of stem cells from embryos or from adult bone marrow for treating human disease. And at the end, it says you should give a conclusion to your evaluation. So the first point to actually say is that as it, as it shows in the mark scheme, marks should not be awarded for simply copying the information provided. So you're not able to use that, inf you can use that information, but you're not going to be copying the information. It's just actually setting the scene between embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. And it does say a mark may be awarded for a comparison between treatments if the answer only involves copied information. And Basically, you get four marks for to be awarded, must be at least one pro and one com. So um, answering this, I would give embryo stem cells, I would do one pro, one com, adult bone marrow stem cells, one pro, one com, and then a conclusion. Now, a conclusion can be anything, basically. It could be related, a reason conclusion could be, for example, um, you agree or disagree of using embryonic stem cells in research or to cure diseases and then give a reason why. It can be any reason at all as long as it's reasoned. So looking at the answers, embryo stem cells. So if we look, I'll just move myself out of the way there so you can see it talks about um, stem cells not begun to differentiate. They could be used to produce any kind of cell tissue or organ. The use of embryonic stem cells to treat human disease is new and for some diseases, trials on patients are happening now. So pros obviously can treat a wide variety of diseases because any type of cell can be produced. There's lots available. Um, you're using them, which is better than wasting them because they are usually from um, IVF treatment and it's painless, which is an advantage. Cons, obviously the key one is the death to the embryo. It's untested, it's unreliable, so there's no actual usage of them at the moment. Um, and obviously the embryo has rights or you cannot give its consent. So you only need one of pro and one com. Adult bone marrow stem cells. So obviously there's no ethical issues because people can give consent. Um, it's safe. You know, it's been used, it does say in the thing, it's been used successfully for many years. So it's safe and it's tried and tested. Cons, obviously, you're going to have an operation which is hazardous. Any operation is hazardous due to infection. Um, few types of cells are produced as well. So you should know adult stem cells only produce certain number of types of uh, cells or tissues. And it would be painful, which may deter donors. This second example is not looking at pros and cons. So what they do is they give you some information. And in the question, it does say evaluate the use of mechanical replacement heart valves and biological replacement heart valves. Then it says use information from the table above. So you can use this information that they've given you, but also you have to include the, your own knowledge from your revision. So what you need to do is use some of the information from the table. So if we look at the table for mechanical, comparing it to biological, you can see straight away, I can see that the percentage of patient, patients alive after five years is slightly higher for mechanical. Um, the, you don't need it replaced as much. Okay, so less people need it replaced within six years compared to biological and percentage of patients who had a blood clot is significantly higher. 
you look in the answers, there's lots of other things as well. So you can bring in your own knowledge. OK, so um, you could talk about blood clots. You could say um, if you don't take that mod medication, then clots can lead to blood clots in the brain. Um, some patients do say they can hear the valve opening and closing. Um, so there we go. Right. So biological valves, you can talk about um, the fact that what well, you've already spoken about, that it's not as effective. It will need being replaced, though. So percentage of patients needing a second valve replacement within six years is higher. So you're more likely it's not necessarily uh, going to happen. but You're more likely to need further operations, which, again, are dangerous due to infection, more likely to be rejected because it's biological material and you're more likely to need immunosuppressant drugs, but you won't need additional blood clotting um, medicine because blood clots don't really happen with biological valves. Another thing from your own knowledge, valves may harden. Both valves, you could mention both valves here, so both are readily available, and also there's very little wait time for both types of valve. Does say at the bottom a level two response. So this is a six mark question. So a level two is between three and four marks. So the response should contain comparisons of both vowels. So you've got to mention both vowels and some reference to your own knowledge. If you don't, if you just talk about the information in the table, they can only give you a maximum of two marks. So be very careful that you don't spend too much time talking about the table. Obviously, the table is important, but your own knowledge is probably more important in this case. I hope you found that useful. Please do subscribe and I'll see you soon.